Hey, hey, I am back. Your teacher, your travel teacher is ready to kick off. It's been a while, so if you're new here, please get your pen and a book because today's class is going to be intense. So, I have my book. Oh, I forgot. I'm the teacher, so. To my students all over the world, Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Eda Versus Travel and in today's vlog, I'm going to talk about why. No, 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 I'm not going to tell you till you get your pen and book. Okay, guys, that's it. Okay, guys, now we are ready for class. I just gave you like five seconds to look for your pen and a book because in today's vlog, I want to talk about Things no one tells you about people who like traveling. So, show of hand, how many can give me an idea of things people don't tell you about people who like traveling? I think my class has the most dumbest kids or dumbest students. So, I'll just give you point number one and I want everybody to explain what that means. And I'll only give you like one mini second and i'll explain everything so point number one as a teacher i always have to refer to my notes yes people who like traveling are adventurous so can i hear someone who can tell me what's adventurous mean okay as i said all my students are down so People who like traveling are, are adventurous because one, these are people who like discovering things and as someone who likes traveling, and I know you also like traveling, or soon you will join this party of traveling. So people who like traveling are very adventurous in the sense that they like discovering things. They like doing new things in their life because you never know, life is too short to be just in one place and yeah, so we like new things we like traveling because this really makes us discover a lot in life and we learn a lot through traveling so we are adventurous and in that sense we are very smart point number two yes things people don't tell you about people who like traveling we are empathetic by empathetic we means we try to understand other people we try to put ourselves in their shoe which means we just share our stories with random people because we understand them. And by being empathetic, I just mean that we try to get people. We are the most understanding human beings in the world. <laughs> yeah, I am very understanding and I know you're very understanding. Point number three, for people who like traveling or think no one tells you about people who like traveling. Yes, we are willing to learn. Man, like we are very curious about the world <laughs> yeah and normally when someone is curious it means they consume knowledge like no one sells business so that's one thing no one ever told you like honestly when i started this video i said we are smart we are smart people so we are very curious and through traveling and through learning we get more experience i'll give you an example like before my traveling dream started, I just used to travel, but it got to a point. I was in this country and I fell in love with nature. Something that, honestly, in a million years, I will not really imagine that that can be me. So it happened that I had to go back to this place and just volunteer and I just like had to do like learn about beach profiling. I learned about turtle. Yeah, maybe if you want, I can share with you the story about turtles because I can make a whole, whole 30 minutes video about how turtles are amazing. And someone might think this is funny, but the whole journey seeing the turtles from the, from the ocean coming to the land to like lay eggs and doing the egg counting. So anyway, for those who are curious, let me tell you one fun fact about turtles. Turtle lays eggs between 100, uh, 120 to 150 eggs. 
and they come to the land only like once a year and out of those 150 eggs let me just say only like one is successful all of them are hatched but the struggle of these small turtles going back to the ocean after being hatched they just get eaten so out of 150 only maybe one or two maximum three survive so anyway that's the short story that's one thing i told you that people were like traveling i think no one told you we are very curious and we learn a lot of things so yeah my curiosity led me to learning more about turtles and the beach so yeah <laughs> ah point number four yeah we like we welcome change so easily so i'll just tell you that if you work or like if you work somewhere or you're an institution you know you can just identify people who like traveling but it's so easy peasy because they welcome change like change don't affect them in fact that's the most exciting thing for them and yeah people who like traveling i'll also tell you for free if you hire them make sure they don't do the same job over and over because they just get bored they resign look for another adventure yeah i told you we are adventurous have done that and it's not the first time and this is from my experience like if i work somewhere for long and i'm doing the same thing over and over i just get bored and i just start looking for my exit plan so yeah you should know that if you're an employer if someone says they like traveling just know like these are people who you who like who will make a big impact in your company and these are people who really like be open-minded like they are good for change they welcome it they embrace it and they're always excited about changes so yeah you should hire these people <laughs> yes point number five we have high self-esteem by this i mean like i can say it in swahili like we feel like nothing is impossible because we know you're never there forever so we always just have to like try and try and try like the confidence we have it's unmatched because at the end of the day like we meet different people strangers we talk to them and you cannot talk to people if you don't have confidence yeah I've traveled to countries where like there's language barrier, but I still have confidence to have communication and conversation. It doesn't matter the little language I know about, like whatever, where I'm going. I just use it. Who cares? Like, I don't need to be perfect. That means we have like high self-esteem. We believe we can do this and it doesn't matter even if someone tries to pull us down. That's one advantage we have. And I have that like... Honestly, in my life, I don't believe that someone can put me down. So, yeah, I think it's because when you travel also, like, especially like if you're doing solo travel, because if people like traveling, I'm so sure people have gone through the solo travel thing, which means you have high self-esteem because you'll go somewhere and especially maybe if you're not in, in your country and you've gone to another country, especially like, because of our skin color, maybe you can face um, racism. But if you have high self-esteem, because we have self-esteem, we're not bothered. Yeah, honestly, like, I'm never bothered. Like, I am there to have fun. I don't care what people say because it's my life and life is too short to be mad and just stay in one place or don't have fun because you don't know what people will say, so. Even for employers, these are the people you should hire. High self-esteem, very confident people. Yes, point number six. Traveling helps us to understand ourselves better, which means that we are able to know what's our strength and what's our weakness because technically, if you've never been outside where you face challenges, where people like undermine you and look at you like nothing. It will like teach you a that it will teach you to know like you have patience or you don't have patience. And also like for me, traveling has made me know that I am like so time conscious. Like when it comes to time, I am to I am the go I am to go person. Like actually, yeah, I'm good with time management. I can say that. 
and also like i am patient with people and also like i am low to anger like these are things actually i learned during traveling because first of all like leave me alone like even people the airline you might go there and there's some delays if you're not patient and you're a lot to anger you'll just be like mad and at the end of the day you'll get you'll get your destination when you're mad or angry or like you know wherever and sometimes you get to the plane also you have annoying people so this will teach you a lot about yourself because traveling as much as it's fun it's also not easy yes point number seven we are more observant trust me we are like so much into details and this reminds me like one time i was traveling with a friend and she just made this comment like hey you're so keen about your environment yeah honestly we are so observant because when you travel you always have to know what's happening around you because first of all you're in a foreign country or you are in a place you've never been so as much as you're having fun you have to be a lot and as I said, we learn a lot, so we get this we get this observant because of the experience we've had even in previous travels. Because let's just say this. If your work is just like home, house, the weekend, church, you don't go anywhere. Trust me, your like observation skills cannot match this person who travels a lot. And I will say this too, like people who like traveling, they're very keen to details, even at work. Like we are good with this like we want to know everything every detail because also at the same time as much as you're being observant and paying attention to details this also sharpens our brains and now we know how to carry ourselves out when we're in that specific place or country or whatever we are doing yeah so point number eight yeah we are very we are more grateful to life and we're more grateful because the exposure we get yeah especially like if you've traveled to places like where people are really suffering like in the desert or like let me give an example like in kenya you've traveled like places where people are like so hit by poverty and let me tell you people like when i say traveling even when you volunteer those who do like uh social services work and they travel to different places will bear this like will agree with me because also that's traveling and it will teach you to be very grateful and by grateful means that you will start appreciating what you have and this is to tell you we are grateful and very appreciative people because the experience we've gotten like from the experience like maybe we've gone to like where people suffer or we saw like things that really don't happen to you and you just think that ah i am safe but when you go to these places you start appreciating life and being very grateful to everything and to life and to god so yeah and this is my point number nine and my final point I have a lot to talk about these things people don't tell you but I just thought this is major so this is point number nine people who like traveling they are very independent in the sense that if someone likes traveling you just see even the way they park they'll not be like going out and expecting to share some items with people we are just like so self-sufficient so yeah these are people who don't rely on other people technically I don't rely to people so i have people who call me miss independent <laughs> yeah and this is because when you travel you just learn how to watch out for yourself yeah so we are hard life people <laughs> yeah those are my nine important points yeah anyway students thank you for coming to today's class i know it's been a while for me to do this vlog because I was taking a break because of a lot of things happening my work I don't know so many things but thank you for watching and thank you for coming back to watch until next time guys I love you bye